What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, <clears throat> you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collection readings for sign of Aries. This resonates if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, hand, energy of your chart. So, for your basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. And thanks, everybody, for the new new subbies. I uh, love and appreciate you guys. If you think anyone else would like the channel, please feel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Um, yeah. I, I had a brain fart. I was going to say something else, but there was nothing else to say. So, okay. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Aries. I did receive one channeling in as I was meditating on your energy. I heard a, ch a minor child is about to run off and elope soon. Is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, Aries, a minor child is about to run off and elope soon. So it could be your minor child about to run off and elope. Elope means getting married. Uh, for anybody doesn't know. Um. I didn't know minor children could run off and elope. I thought they had to have permission. Uh, maybe they are going to get permission from one of their parents, uh, legal guardians, unless they are, um, unless they are, what's it called? Um, not estranged, but um, it starts with the E2, um, where they have their own rights as a minor, uh, whatever that's called. Um, if somebody wants to put in the, I know it, but I can't remember it right now. Um, it's a legal age term. It starts with an E. It's not a, not a lope. It's um, not estranged. It's another E term, but it's where the minor basically gets uh, rights granted through the courts to become uh, their own person, their own rights before uh, before they turn 18. Um, whatever that's called, I can't remember what it's called right now. So. Um, but how that resonates, unless they got a uh, one that occurred, or they had a parental guardian or a guardian sign consent saying they could elope with the person. Um, how that resonates and applies, Aries. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. Bull, do not buy down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Bird, perch, waiting for news package letter. You have lion and stingray for some a uh, fire sign or a uh, um, water sign. Could be very significant in your life. If they are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, <clears throat> in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Menhaven, and Jupiter charts. If they are, are significant in your life. Spirit messages you have sign Aries. Someone's about to become a multimillionaire soon. Someone's about to become a multimillionaire soon, is what I just heard. So someone's about to become a multimillionaire. So that could be you or somebody you're connected to. Aries. Multimillionaire status. Congratulations if that resonates for you. Joy. Number 22 it could be very significant number in one's life. Number 22, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 22. Lion. A real leader, female leader. For one, you are this person. For one, you know this person. A real leader, a female leader. For one, you are this person. For one, um, you know this person. So female leader energy, um, whether you are this female leader or you know this female leader. I think this person, um, they take on the lion energy, um, leadership and courage and bravery. And I think they stand up for what's right. Um, 
hopefully they stand up for what's right. I didn't hear they do, but I feel they do. Um, courage and bravery, and um, and I, I think they don't back down from opposition. Um, whether it's you, female leader, or some or a female leader you know. How that resonates, it applies. Aries. Stingray. We have a lot of people moving out of our neighborhood. A lot. I just want to point that out. Holy crap. Stingray. A Scorpio is about to betray an Aries in a huge way. A huge way. Blind side. You are not going to see this coming, but it's about to happen. For one, it's in your work workplace dynamic, corporate conglomerate. For one, it's in a family situation regarding one of your children. Okay. The Scorpio energy, mass Mercury and Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Moon, Hayward, Jupiter charts. About to betray you in a huge way. For one of you guys, it's in a, a workplace situation. I heard a corporate conglomerate. Um, I heard you're not going to see it coming. So blindside energy for situation one. This is your Scorpionic Stingray energy. They're going to sting you. Boom, boom, boom. Blindside, backstab, betrayal. Um, whoever the Scorpio is. Um, you work in a corporate conglomerate for Situation 1. For Situation 2, I heard it is in a family dynamic regarding one of your child or children. Um, so, um, however this resonates and applies. Um, and whoever the Scorpio is to you whether um, it's a subordinate or a co-worker or manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO for situation one, or some somebody in a family dynamic. It, they could be in your immediate family, extended family, or a friend of a family. But it's regarding, for situation two, it's regarding one of your children. So I wonder if um, if maybe one of these Scorpios is going to take um, sign the, maybe it's, maybe it's your um, other co-parenting hat. Or a spouse that signs the paperwork for your, one of your children to elope, maybe. Or um, or maybe a Scorpio is with one of your children and they run off and elope with them, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Stingray energy, Scorpionic Stingray energy. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Joy. <clears throat> a wedding is about to make Aries very happy. A wedding is about to make a Aries very happy. You are attending this wedding. You are attending this wedding. A uh, wedding is about to make Aries very happy. You're uh, going to attend this wedding. So it's going to make you very happy, very joyful. You're going to attend this wedding. I think for one, you're going to get all dressed up, looking all super fly, super nice. And it's going to make you happy. Maybe it's happy you won't be married. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> but um, but um, however that resonates, you're going to be happy at this wedding. Um, I think you're going to be happy for the people who get married in all seriousness. So congrats. And obviously, that wouldn't be the elopement. I just want to say that. A realtor is about to give an Aries a gift. A realtor is about to give an Aries a gift. Well, that's sweet. So, um, do you plug it in? How it resonates, Aries? Um, I think it's your realtor or a realtor you're connected to, but somebody's realtor is about to um, give an Aries a gift. So, one of you guys is going to be happy um, that a realtor is about to give you a gift um, or another Aries you're connected to. Dragon, beware of self-delusion.
And Aries was very, 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 very delusional about a Libra in the in the past. <clears throat> Excuse me. Delusional about a Libra in a pa in the past. For some, a masculine Libra. For some, a fem Libra. But you're about to have a huge wake up call and see very clearly on this now. Very clearly. Through many shocking series of chain events, one of these Libras will be mental health institutionalized soon. For one. <clears throat> For one, they're going to free willingly admit themselves. For one, they will be forced to go. Whoa, so you plug it in how it resonates. So mental institutionalism, um, it's Libra and energy. Um, you were very deluded about them in the past, um, so you didn't see clearly. You were very delusional about them or about the situation or something or both. But how that resonates, they're suffering from mental illness, I'll tell you that. They're suffering from mental, mental illness, and I don't think you picked up on this. Or you, or you refuse to pick up on it. I feel for some you could have been in denial. And I'm just serious. <clears throat> for some, you were definitely in denial. Okay, that's confirmation. For some, you were definitely in den denial. So you were definitely in denial about this Libra energy. Whether they're masculine or feminine, mental health issues. Um, for whoever, whether it's the masculine or femme, Libra. Um, definite mental health issues. You were in denial about it, Aries. Um, so whoever this Libra is to you, masculine or femme Libra. But um, I heard through many shocking series of chain events, one of these uh, Libras is going to um, free willingly admit themselves into a mental health institution soon. For one, they will be forced to go. So I think something that maybe they act out public and then the police get involved and they have to go or they get arrested or something They and mental health court gets involved. Or some other kind of series of chain events occur, occur to where they have to go um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but you are very delusional about this, uh, about the situation and about this Libra, whether it's masculine or femme Libra. <clears throat> one is going to take responsibility and control of their mental health and admit them on, their own selves. For one, they're going to be forced to go. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. An Aries officer of the law is about to really come into very rough energy. You're an investigator. You're going to get very, very bad vibes from these people, and you're going to be right. One, through many shocking series of chain events, will end up telling on themselves and others. It's going to benefit in a huge way. Oh, God. Okay, so if this resonates for you, you're an Aries police investigator. So you work for law enforcement in some shape, form, or fashion. You know, whatever law enforcement you, um, that is. Um, there's a million law enforcement agencies out there. So whoever it is, it's law, law enforcement, though. But um, you're about to, you're an investigator. So I think you're about to go out and investigate something for the police um, is what I'm feeling. <clears throat> but how that resonates, I heard basically... Um, you're about to come in and we're very rough negative energy. So I think um, I think they're going to be stubborn and rude and um, maybe hopefully they don't physically try to assault you. Of course, if they try to assault you, that'd be assaulting a police officer, but hopefully not. I didn't hear that, but I don't think they're going to talk to you or speak the truth is what I'm saying. I don't think they're going to want to speak the truth. I don't think they're going to want to tell you anything. I don't think they're going to give you jack shit. And I'm just being for real. I think um, for some, you could be an undercover. I intuitively feel, one, you are undercover. I didn't hear you were, but I intuitively feel, one, you might be an undercover. Um, for one, you might not be. But however that resonates, whether you're undercover or not, they're, I don't feel they're going to want to give you jack shit. And I'm just being for real. Um, but I heard through many, through many shocking series of chain events, one will end up telling on themselves and others, and it's going to benefit the situation in a huge way. So them telling on themselves and others is about to open up positive can of worms for you so do not back down show strength and fortitude with the situation is what i'm feeling and don't be deluded 
Um, I heard you're going to sense bad vibes, but I think you're going to sense bad vibes because you're going to sense they're not going to want to tell you jack shit. And I'm just being for real. Uh, but, but you're highly intuitive, whoever this is, and you're going to pick up on it. You're going to pick up on it, I'm feeling. Um, and then one person's going to end up telling on themselves and others. Um, so that'll be good. But um, And I think that'll be you and the lion energy about to take action on that once they tell on themselves and others. And maybe you become the sting ray energy and sting somebody. Maybe there is a sting involved. I didn't hear there was. But um, you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um, you are Aries, officer of the law. If that resonates for you. A water sign partner is about to get very aggressive with you. Very aggressive. And an affair with a Libra and Aries is about to become very significant. A water sign partner is about to become very aggressive with an Aries. So a Cancer Pisces Scorpio um, feminine. Cancer Pisces Scorpio femme. So a Cancer Pisces Scorpio femme partner of an Aries. You can be a masculine femme Aries, but it's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio femme partner of yours. Is about to become very aggressive with you. So I don't know if that's verbally aggressive, physically aggressive, or both. <clears throat> but um, the card is do not back down from my position. So strength and fortitude. So... I think don't let this person bully you around, harass you, bully, berate you. Just because they're your partner don't mean they can treat you like shit. And I hope you don't allow them to treat you like shit. And I'm just being for real. But whoever this water sign female is, whether you're a female or a masculine Aries, they they feel entitled to, like, they can. Um, so I think the, the message in the card in this, my intuitive take, is basically don't let them treat you like trash. I'm not saying treat them like trash because I don't believe anybody should be treated like trash. But just because you're in a relationship with somebody doesn't mean it gives you free will and free reign to treat somebody like shit. And that's just the truth. And I think that's what this water sign femme feels entitled she can do. Um, so I think you're just going to have to stand up for yourself and set some boundaries and let her know, hey, just because we're together don't mean you can treat me like a piece of crap. And if you don't want to be together, we don't have to be together. Of course, you can take the advice or leave it, but that's what I would. And somehow an, an affair with an Aries and a Libra is about to become very significant. <clears throat> so uh, one of you Aries, low vibrational Aries, is in an affair with the Libra. Um, they could have it could be masculine or feminine Libra. They can have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine hand for Jupiter charts. But how that resonates, um, that's about to become significant. And you are a low vibrational Aries if that resonates for you. It is a workplace affair. And it's about to blow all to hell. Know this. It's a workplace affair and it's about to blow all to hell. So you are a low vibrational Aries, masculine or femme Aries, and you are in a workplace affair with a low vibrational Libra, masculine or femme Libra. It's about to blow all to hell, Aries, just to let you know. Okay? think you were very deluded about this workplace affair, but it's about to blow up. One of these people will be fired through many, many shocking series of chain of events. One of these people will be fired through many shocking series of chain of events. So one of you low vibrational workplace affair people will be fired through many shocking series of chain of events, Aries, if that resonates for you with your Libra. Coworker, subordinate, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO. Bird perch waiting for news package letter. An Aries is about to figure out that uh, through many series of chain of events, a psychic investigator and investigator are about to work together. It's about to really piss you off, make you very jealous. But no, these people need to be, they need to be left alone and they will be left alone. Okay, Aries, okay. So for one of you guys, you're about to find out um, uh, a psychic investigator and an investigator is about to work together. Uh, it sounds like collaboration energy, and I've been picking that up heavy in my readings. Some kind of collaborative 
um, energy soon. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet, but it's about to between in a psychic investigator and an investigator. Masculine and feminine energies. Masculine and feminine energy. So masculine and feminine, psychic investigator and investigator. But I heard um, you don't want these people to work together. You don't want them to work together. I heard it's going to piss you off and make you, um, it's going to piss you off and make you jealous. But I heard um, they're going to be left alone. That basically the spiritual warning in that for you was to leave them the hell alone um, because they need to be left alone and they will be left alone. So you, it sounds like you want to come break up the party, Aries. Sounds like you want to going to come break up the party when you uh, when you either hear about it or see that they're working together or what have you, what have you. Um, I don't think it's going to bring you joy. Um, it's going to make you pissed and jealous. Uh, I feel for one of these people that might be your ex or somebody you wanted to date or something. There's a reason you're going to be jealous. Hell, I don't know. But I heard they will be left alone and they need to be left alone. So that's a spiritual message for you if that message applies for you. Um, basically, don't come barging in and messing up their shit um, because that's not smart. If that resonates with whoever, okay? Waiting for news package letter. These two people are about to experience huge success and it is going to burn you up for one. For one, it's going to make you happy. These two are about to, well, these people are coming in very strong. So these two are about to experience huge success. The psychic investigator and the investigator, it hasn't happened yet. It's a masculine and feminine energy. I heard they're going to experience huge success. For one, it's going to burn you up inside. And for one, it's going to make you happy. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. The joy is going to make you happy. They're going to experience huge success. For one, it's going to burn you up inside. So it's going to piss you off and burn your biscuits. And uh, imagine like a cartoon character with the steam coming out of their ears. However that resonates and applies. Unjoyful. Um, but I heard they need to be left alone and they will be left alone. So whoever the one wants to come back and basically ruin somebody's um, success and collaborative effort here it's not a smart idea um whoever that's for because you're coming in very strong i imagine a cartoon character with the steam coming out of their ears <sighs> i'm serious but it's better to just let go and let god move on if anybody needs to hear that no i feel one of you guys is living in the past and I didn't hear that. I just intuitively feel one of you guys is living in the past. But it's not good to live in the past if anybody needs to hear that. Bird Purge, waiting for news package letter. And Aries is about to take on a new project. They're about to get lots of shipments to their door soon. And Aries is about to take on a new project. You're about to get lots of shipments to your door soon. So if this resonates for you, Aries, you're about to take on a new project. Now, I didn't hear specifically what kind of project that is. Only you know what project that is, not anybody else. But I heard you're about to get lots of shipments to your door. So I think you're waiting for um, packages. In this aspect i think you're waiting for packages i heard lots of shipments to your door it's some kind of new project you're about to take on so um, whatever new project that is only you know what new project that is but i feel i feel like i i'm getting like a clairvoyant vision in my head of like um of um i actually I, i'm seeing fedex now i don't know if it's going to be fedex but i'm seeing fedex um so I feel for one, it could be, and I'm seeing a lot of packages. I see the FedEx van, and then I see, like, several packages, like four to five large boxes. So whoever that's for, um, I feel FedEx is significant for one of you guys, because I just saw a clairvoyant vision of FedEx van, like, driving by in a neighborhood on the street, and then, like, four or five large packages. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I feel that's at least for one of you guys. Um, but that's packaged in this aspect, if that resonates for you.
For one, you are applying for a grant and you're waiting for news back. For one, you're applying for a grant and you're waiting for news back. So you're applying for some kind of grant. Um, now, there are several different types of grants out in the universe. I automatically think of Pell Grant, but it really can be any kind of grant. Uh, Pell Grant is an education grant for anybody who doesn't know, but it can be any kind of grant. Um, any kind of grant. Now, grants, you don't have to pay back. Long as you do. So you're uh, uh, you're waiting for news back to see if you get this grant. Um, it's money. Grant money is money you don't have to pay back. So I think you're waiting for a letter or news back to see if you get this grant. If you get it, it'll make you very happy. If that resonates for you, Aries. An Aries is about to burn a love letter of the past from a Scorpio. Moving on. An Aries is about to burn a love letter of the past from a Scorpio. Moving on. So you plug it. So this is the love letter of the past from a Scorpio. You're about to move it on. Um, I'll, you're not waiting on it. You're about to burn it. Um, so you, you plug it in how it resonates. A jury trial verdict is about to become very significant in Aries' life. And a false contract. <clears throat> a jury trial verdict and a false contract. And an investigator. And an investigator. A jury trial verdict, uh, an, uh, an investigator, and a false contract is about to become very significant in Aries' life. So you plug that in, how that resonates, if that applies for you, Aries. Jury trial verdict, so the upcoming in the universe, um, a false contract, and an investigator. Now, there's many types of investigators, so however that resonates, okay? All right, well, I love you guys. I hope this helps, and namaste.